Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. And to all those on New Tech as well as subscribers here on YouTube, thank you to all of you for your continued support. From US News, with the honeymoon phase far behind him, Biden's approval hits new low. Only Trump has had a lower job approval rating than Biden does during similar points in their presidencies, according to a new poll which found that the president's approval rating hit a new low of 43%. However, the difference between a Republican president and a Democrat president is that a Democrat president typically has the full weight and support of the mainstream legacy media, as well as Hollywood, activists, special interests, and activists. As you can see here, I've shown you, the, you guys this graph several times from the Pew Research Center, showing Trump's negativity at 62%. They couldn't even manage a half decent assessment of the man's ability within the first 60 days because he was already doing things to benefit the country, but that wasn't the plan. So you can see like right out of the gate, they were absolutely gonna slam President Trump as much as possible and put a dark cloud over him, his entire presidency as we witnessed. But over here we see just under half of US adults say early coverage of the Biden administration has offered mostly positive assessments. No, who's offered the positive assessments is the mainstream legacy media who puts the Democrat presidents in a more positive light. So here from the Washington Examiner, Biden says vaccine mandates shouldn't divide country, urges people to continue getting shots. Now, it could be argued that his softer tone here is a result of his job approval tanking because we already know the mandates and heavy handedness that he's playing with. I don't know why in particular the New York governor decided to go with these very strict mandates harming the medical community in New York because right now if you want to consider it a pandemic that we're still in, you need those frontline workers, but those frontline workers are being fired. And my question has always been, what has medical, what have medical professional people done prior to the vaccine that they can't do now? So President Joe Biden argued his vaccine mandates are starting to turn the corner on the C virus pandemic Thursday, but he also urged unvaccinated people to continue getting shots. So. He's kind of softened his tone a little bit, but I think it might be a little too late at this point. We'll have to see how things start to turn. So from the Pew Research Center as well, views of Biden and congressional leaders. So we can see that Biden's job approval rating drops among most groups, including Democrats. That's right. I saw on The View the other day, there was uh, some of the um, uh, black uh, talk show hosts there were kind of complaining about Biden not doing enough for the black community. But he actually, you know, he did do he did do a lot of work for the black community to get himself elected. And now that he's elected, of course, it's not a big deal. But as you can see here, you can see some of the changes within that. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit. So among men, women, white, black, Hispanic, Asians, and then the ages of 18 to 65. And then, of course, you guys obviously know how to read uh, data points. So you can see that it's changed from September 21st to July 21st and it is slowly going down. So we also have another very curious thing about Joe Biden when we talk about the fact that he is a surrogate president. He's a propped up president. He's basically, as we read in Politico, uh, was back in 2019 when they said, Joe Biden, we just need your corporeal presence. We just need you to exist. Fake views. Biden is ridiculed for building game show set with fake windows and photos of the Rose Garden over the road from the White House. That's right. So he's using this staged area. President Joe Biden is coming under criticism for using a newly constructed set that includes fake windows and digital views of the Rose Garden. Now, there was a time where they showed the president in his position of power as a statement because it's iconic. So now they're on a stage. Now, I don't know. I mean, have we suddenly have so we suddenly have poor lighting in the White House? We suddenly have poor lighting in the Oval Office. I mean, this is where we normally see the president speaking to people. So is this uh, 
Is this COVID related? Are they tr are they trying to make sure there's adequate uh, distance between individuals around the president? I would assume that that all partly has something to do with it. But you can see how closely they monitor, how closely they take care of Biden. But again, he's just a he's just an empty suit at this point. He's just a surrogate, and they even complete his sentences for him in their writings. When you see the articles and and quotes from him, they just you know, intermix and complete the information for him. So he can really do no wrong. So I'm not really sure why I heard like today as of October the 14th that the media was giving him a hard time. I think the only reason the media is giving him a hard time is because his approval is going down. And like one of the talk show hosts on The View, he isn't doing what they want him to do, what, what they elected him to do. So here from Real Clear Politics, the aggregate, which I think is probably about as accurate as you can get when it comes to polling, his his disapproval is at 52% as of Wednesday, October the 13th, 2021, and his approval is at 44.1. So it's continuing to decline. And it's interesting that during the Trump administration, they were always trying to find the most bizarre newsworthy tabloid information about President Trump, but you see the media completely avoids anything that could harm Joe Biden because they could easily be bringing up Tara Reid, who uh, what we know about Tara Reid's allegations that Joe Biden had assaulted her. In other words, did the grabbing that President Trump had done, but Joe Biden actually did it. Now, I'm trying to keep it as family friendly as I can, but you guys understand what I'm uh, saying here. And so you see the media doesn't speak about Tara Reid at all. You probably, some of you watching this right now probably don't even know who Tara Reid is. You may may have maybe heard her name uh, back during the uh, campaign, but that was the last time you probably heard about her. Even Kamala Harris brought up the Me Too moment, Believe All Women, and you haven't heard anything from it since. As a matter of fact, have you heard anything from Kamala Harris lately? Have you even seen Kamala Harris anywhere lately? Normally, at the least, she's the shadow of the, of Joe Biden in, in some of his little engagements. But I guess she doesn't fit on the on the fake stage to be able to do that. But see, they could go after Tara Reid. And of course, the biggest bullseye, the biggest bullseye of all that the media could go after. And boy, could they really turn this into a circus. And that's with Hunter Biden. Imagine imagine if this was one of trump's sons oh my gosh you would never hear the end of it i mean rachel maddow on msnbc i mean aside from the whole russia 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 can you imagine if president trump's son or if you know if uh ivanka or or any of his children even they even went after baron can you imagine the media going after the i mean the the the, the resource the content i mean the depth that they could go into Regarding Hunter Biden, I mean, of course, here they're, these are all very uh, flattering and positive uh, aspects about him, but they're, they're talking about like a, a corruption trial here, and they could easily do a corruption trial. You want to talk about an FBI investigation after Joe Biden leaves office? Now, as I've mentioned before, presidents, uh, for the most part, have a certain level of immunity from prosecution. That's just kind of a, it's just kind of a traditional thing, I guess, in a way. I mean, obviously, if they do something really terrible, they'll obviously get in trouble. But for the most part, most presidents in the United States typically have a certain level of, of uh, protection, immunity, as it were, from you know being prosecuted or convicted of anything. So despite the fact that the Democrats know this and uh, Trump's detractors know this as well, they'll still continue to go after President Trump. But it makes you wonder, how much more can they throw at President Trump? How much more can they talk about President Trump, do against President Trump? to make people any more convinced. And the thing is, have you ever noticed at the left, are they any happier now? Do they seem any happier now than when President Trump was in office? As a matter of fact, I'd say they're worse off. I mean, you want to talk about division. We are at a big, high, super level of tribal division at this time. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you this Friday. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. 
Below this video, you can find the various links to the social media platforms that I belong to, to include new tech. And I want to thank all of you who have recently joined me from some of the new tech. It's appreciated. And of course, appearing right there on the screen for all of you here on YouTube, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on that to subscribe as well as select notifications if you want to know when there's content here on the channel as well as the Friday vlog. And I'll see all you guys right there behind that camera next week.